In the heart of a primeval forest, where gnarled trees whispered ancient secrets and the air crackled with an otherworldly energy, there lived a being of immense power and enigma, Baba Yaga. Baba Yaga's abode was a dilapidated hut perched atop chicken legs, its walls adorned with human skulls and its roof thatched with raven feathers. The hut stood at the edge of a clearing, surrounded by a dense thicket of thorns and poisonous plants. Baba Yaga herself was a formidable sight. Her skin was ashen and wrinkled, her eyes glowed with an eerie green light, and her long, tangled hair cascaded down her back like a waterfall of serpents. She wore a ragged dress made of animal skins and carried a gnarled staff that seemed to pulse with a malevolent energy. Legend had it that Baba Yaga possessed the power to control the elements, transform herself into animals, and summon spirits from the underworld. She was both feared and revered by the people of the forest, who whispered tales of her capricious nature and her ability to grant wishes or inflict curses. One fateful day, a young hunter named Ivan stumbled upon Baba Yaga's hut while lost in the wilderness. Desperate for shelter and sustenance, he knocked timidly on the door. Who is there? Baba Yaga's voice rasped from within. It is I, Ivan, a hunter lost in the forest, Ivan replied. I seek shelter and food. There was a long pause before Baba Yaga opened the door. Ivan stepped inside, his heart pounding in his chest. The hut was dark and smoky, filled with the pungent smell of herbs and animal skins. What do you seek from me, hunter? Baba Yaga asked, her eyes piercing Ivan's soul. I seek your help, wise one, Ivan said. I have lost my way and am in need of guidance. Baba Yaga chuckled softly. Guidance, you say? I can give you guidance, but it comes at a price. What price? Ivan asked warily. A task, Baba Yaga replied. You must retrieve for me a golden egg from the nest of the firebird. Ivan's eyes widened in astonishment. The firebird was a legendary creature, its feathers said to glow with a blinding light. Its nest was guarded by fierce dragons and other mythical beasts. But that is impossible. Ivan exclaimed. The firebird is too dangerous. Nothing is impossible for those who are brave and determined, Baba Yaga said. If you succeed, I will grant you your wish. Ivan hesitated for a moment before nodding. I will do it, he said. Baba Yaga gave Ivan a cryptic riddle and a magical amulet that would protect him from the firebird's flames. With that, Ivan set off on his perilous quest. Days turned into nights as Ivan journeyed through the forest, guided by Baba Yaga's riddle. He faced countless dangers and overcame treacherous obstacles, his courage and determination unwavering. Finally, he reached the firebird's nest, a towering tree ablaze with golden light. Ivan used the amulet to shield himself from the flames and carefully retrieved the golden egg. As he returned to Baba Yaga's hut, Ivan felt a surge of triumph. He had completed her task and earned her favor. Baba Yaga greeted him with a sly smile. Well done, hunter, she said. You have proven your worth. What is your wish? Ivan thought for a moment. I wish to return home to my village, he said. Baba Yaga nodded. Your wish is granted, she said. But remember, the path home is not always easy. You must be prepared for whatever challenges may come your way. With that, Baba Yaga waved her staff and Ivan found himself transported back to his village. He was greeted as a hero, his tale of Baba Yaga and the Firebird becoming a legend passed down through generations. And so, the enigmatic Baba Yaga continued to dwell in her forest hut, her power and wisdom forever shrouded in mystery. Some feared her, others sought her guidance, but all who crossed her path knew that she was a force to be reckoned with, 